wasn't status that moved Jesus' heart. It was belief. It wasn't righteousness that stopped Jesus in his tracks. It was belief. Belief is something that anyone can have. It's a choice. It's a risk. And belief moves the heart of Jesus. So when you're facing something at work, in marriage, with your friends, with your kids, with your health, whatever, when you're facing something too far gone and it's risky to ask for help, when asking God puts you in a vulnerable position, when everything seems to be blocking you from praying, ask. Don't ask yourself if it's realistic. Just ask the God of the impossible to go with you and do the impossible. When you have a heavy need and start to pray, but you feel disconnected because it's been a long time since you prayed, when you hear the voice in your head saying, you can't treat God like a genie, you can't just come to him when you need him, don't run away. Stick there and pray. When you start to pray, but you can't concentrate because you can only think of that chronic sin in your life, don't leave ashamed. Ask. Don't ask yourself if you deserve grace. Grace by definition is getting what you don't deserve. Don't ask yourself if you deserve it. Just ask for grace. Just ask Jesus and trust him to be gracious. Just ask Jesus and trust him to be gracious. How do you get what you need even when you don't think it's something you deserve to receive? Boldly believe that you'll receive the grace that you need. How do you get what you need even when you don't think it's something you deserve to receive? Boldly believe you'll receive the grace you need.